Good morning, or depending on you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, I had a voice radio. So today, I'm going to be showing you the top 10 cards from Dragon Majesty. Now, Dragon Majesty is a mini set that we're going to be getting next month. It is basically just Dragon Storm from Japan, but brought over here. And I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, it's got some pretty nice cards in it. Now, most of this list, the order is really up in arms. I don't feel great about the order, except for kind of the top, probably the top three to five cards I feel pretty good about. But there are some decent cards in here. This is a nice little mini set. And I usually wait until the day they're released. But I've been a little bit late on the last couple and... You know, people have been getting there in front of me, so I thought, right, this time I'm going to be first. Maybe it's too early. No, it's never too early to start planning. I'm not counting promo cards here, just cards that are going to be in the main set. If there are any major differences in our Dragon Majesty to Japan's Dragon Storm, I will, of course, do an updated video, but I feel pretty good for now that this will be the 10 best cards. So coming in at number 10, we have... Blaine Single Shot Match. A card with near limitless potential, but a huge downside. You see, it can only be played if it is the only card left in your hand. But when you play it, you get to draw two cards for each of your fire Pokemon in play. That is potentially drawing 12 cards. Professor Sycamore is awesome because it gets you seven cards and if you're in skyfield this could get you as many as 18 cards it's so good you could literally deck yourself out in a fire deck you've got to play it you can always just tapu lele if it's the only card in your hand or if you've got an ultra ball and two other cards you ultra ball discard and the other two grab a tapu lele and then go although tapu lele of course isn't a fire pokemon so that will be too fewer cards you draw but there's so much potential in fire decks you've got to pop it in at number 10 in at number nine, Zinnia. Zinnia is another card with great potential that's rather awkward. If one of your Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn, attach up to two basic energy cards from your hand to one of your Dragon Pokemon. Now, on the one hand, this is great energy acceleration onto Dragon Pokemon, which is brilliant. On the other hand, you've got to have had a Pokemon KO the previous turn. And you've got to have those two energy in your hand in a format where just after rotation, we aren't going to have Professor's Letter anymore. This strikes me as a phenomenal card that won't see much play because it's just too awkward to use. Again, you can search it out with Tapu Lele, but I just think it's going to end up being not quite good enough. In at number eight, we've got Drampa, or as I like to call it, Rubbish Latias. You see, Latias Prism Star, which is going to be coming in Celestial Storm, not in Dragon Majesty, has 130 HP, which is much better than 120, because you can take a hit from stuff like Zoroark. And Latias does 30 damage, whereas Drampa only does 20. And Latias attaches one basic energy to each of your bench dragon basics, Whereas Drampa only attaches one energy to one of your dragon Pokemon. Although they don't have to be basic with Drampa, whereas they do for Latias. So you've got less HP, you're doing less damage, and you're accelerating less energy. Hence, rubbish Latias. Latias is a Prism Star. You can only put one in your deck. Drampa's what you play. In the same way, Registeel, and I love Registeel, you know I love Registeel is basically just a rubbish version of Solgaleo Prism Star. But I still play both in my decks because Solgaleo Prism Star is one per deck. In at number seven, Alteria, an interesting card because it's basically a reprint of the old Alteria. All of your dragon Pokemon do an extra 20 damage. Simple as that. Oh yeah, and you can stack them. So if you've got four on your bench, your dragon Pokemon do an extra 80 damage. So your Latias Prism Star now does a bunch of extra damage, although it only accelerates energy to basics, so maybe you don't want it on the bench when you're using Latias. But Drampa now does 40, 60, 80, 100 damage while accelerating an energy. 
It's a stage one, which means it takes up a bunch of space in your deck. And you've got to pop it on your bench, which means it's taking up space on your bench. But I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, if you're playing a dragon deck, you have got to at least consider this now. It's pretty good. In at number six, Reshiram GX. I am a big fan of Reshiram GX. I think Reshiram GX is really good. But only for the GX attack. I don't like the first two attacks. I only like the GX attack. Free fire, one colorless energy, 180 damage. I should mention all of these translations come from the lovely folks over at LimitlessTCG.com. And if you want, you can attach up to five fire energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon in any way that you like. Fire decks at the moment use a turn one Kiawe to get four energy onto a Ho-Oh GX and then start rolling. But Reshiram here can do 180 damage while accelerating 5 energy. So as long as you can get the energy in your hand, Kiawe onto Reshiram, then use this attack to start setting up your Ho-Oh. Especially after rotation when we're not going to have Max Elixir. And especially considering that Kiawe ends your turn, this is basically a way to get two Kiawe's because you'll have a Reshiram and a Ho-Oh set up rather than just having one. I like it a lot. I think it's a new way to play fire decks. Although my favorite fire Pokemon in the set is in at number five. It's Victini Prism Star. It's only got one attack, but it's a doozy. Two fire energy. This attack does 20 damage for each basic energy in your discard pile. Then shuffle all basic energy from your discard pile into your deck. You can use this in any deck whatsoever with counter energy. Or you can use it just in a fire deck. It does a lot of damage while recovering all of your energy. That sounds pretty good to me. And if you're playing Max Elixir, i.e. at World or in Expanded, play Max Elixir after using this. You've gone through a lot of your deck and then put all the energy back in. You're probably going to hit one. In at number four, a card which Reshiram's going to love. It's Flint. Discard two cards from your hand, search your deck for four fire energy and put them into your hand. If you're using stuff like Reshiram, this is amazing because you can make sure you've got four in your hand. Okay, Reshiram can attach up to five, but this gets four. Four's not too bad. Or if you're in Expanded or just before rotation using Volcanian EX, get the energy in your hand so that you can use Steam Up. Fire decks need this more than pretty much anybody else. I think it's a brilliant item card that's going to see a whole bunch of play. In at number three, Dragonite GX. Now, Dragonite GX is dependent on Lance Prism Star, which by now you've probably figured is either one or two. But Dragonite GX here, it's got 250 HP, which is as high as HPs get. It does 70 for a single lightning energy, and don't forget Altaria can boost this. It does 200 damage for 4 energy, and then it can't attack next turn, but that never stops stuff like Boswell or Lapras, so really don't worry about it. It's very easy to get around. 200 with a choice band is 230, and that will KO almost anything. Add 1 Altaria to go up to 250, and then you can change that almost into absolutely. And this attack uses double colorless energy, making it not that difficult to get rolling. And then for free colorless energy, put free dragon Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench. Which means you need to just get one Dragonite out. And then you can get another free Dragonite out using the GX attack. It's crazy good. Huge HP, great damage for a single energy, big attack, and a GX attack that gets your other Dragonite. Sounds good to me. In at number two, Wishy Washy. That's right. A 30 HP basic is the second best card in the whole set. Fun fact, not the only 30 HP water basic in the set, there's also a Feebas. And it's got an ability, Local Gathering. While this Pokemon is in play, all of your Wishy Washy GX have 20 more HP and deal 20 more damage to the active. Which means if you get four of these bad boys out, and let's remember Brooklet Hill is still a thing, then all of a sudden your wishy-washy GX here. Uh, they've got 290 HP, 
and they are doing 100 damage for a single energy. And then you use stuff like Max Potion and Ace Roller to make sure they never get KO'd again. I thought we were really heading into a one-hit KO format with stuff like Rayquaza and Necrozma, but if the North American International Championships are to be believed, we're running into a two-hit KO format, or at least still in one, with stuff like Zoroark and Boswell, and in a two-hit KO format, wishy-washy wins. Simple as that. But in at number one, the card with more potential than almost any other we've seen for years... Lance Prism Star. If one of your Pokemon was KO'd during your opponent's last turn, search your deck for two Dragon Pokemon and put them onto your bench. That's not basic Dragon Pokemon. That's Dragon Pokemon. You can get two Dragonite using this, and then you can use your GX tap to get another free. Or you can use it to get your stage 1 Altarius. Or you can use it to get your stage 2 Salamence or whatever. It's good, ladies and gentlemen. It's really good. There is no card that we've had released for oh, goodness knows how long. Which has anywhere near the potential for this. This has the potential for some utterly dumb strategies that could be really really fun or it could never see any play whatsoever maybe i should have put wishy-washy number one i for one i'm going to be playing a lot of wishy-washy next season because it looks awesome but for now ladies and gentlemen i want you to give me your top 10 from dragon storm do you agree with my list do you disagree with my list do you want to give your own top 10 i'd love it if you did so pop it down in the comment section and make me a happy wussy. Also, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wussy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can do just that. And do check out my Dragon Ball Super slash video game channel, Wussy Plays, for some more Wussy action. But by far the most important thing as always, is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.